Welcome back. We are less than 24 hours away from Valentine's Day and one way to kickstart the day. That's to make sure that you wow that special someone in your life by making a delicious home cooked meal. We are joined this morning by our good buddy in the kitchen, Chef Beast, hey. Andrew Bustos. Good morning. The fork in hand right now. <laughs> he's got some good stuff here on the griddle. And again, he's going to be walking us through how to whip up a special Valentine's Day treat that is the perfect way, again, to say I love you and start the day off, right? Yeah. Chef Bustos. Hey, you got thanks us. for having me. It's the day of love, right? We've got to celebrate the day of love. we got to do something with a lot of love in it. You know, make sure that you're taking care of that special someone, whether it's the man or woman. I hope the men are in the kitchen making breakfast <laughs> for bed in your, for your lady, right? There you go. But yeah, I mean, you know we always cre come up with something creative and this is kind of a classic twist on on a stuffed french toast right so what we did i got some nice pieces of brioche bread here a beautiful egg wash with a little bit of heavy cream cinnamon wow. and uh, vanilla i always put a little bit of vanilla in there okay adds Same a little here. extra and then i got some beautiful fresh berries Mix them with some granulated sugar and a little bit of Chambord, okay? okay? So you got that little extra love in there. Chambord has that raspberry flavor, deep liquor flavor. And then I whipped up some fresh whipped cream. Again, a little bit of powdered sugar, some vanilla and all that. So what we're going to do, we're going to let this cook here for a minute. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to mix all this beautiful stuff together. Golden brown. Oh, yeah. Nice, beautiful French yeah. toast there. You can cook it as dark as you want. I like it just a little light brown like that. We're going to put these berries right inside. This and you have some massive here. blueberries there, too. Just oh, my gosh. This blueberry I showed David was the size of my fist earlier. It was insane, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, you know, be creative. Berries, love, you know, a lot of whipped cream. Hey, it might kick to start the day for you guys, if you know what I mean. <laughs> sure, yeah. He has some in the kitchen. And, yeah. There okay. you go. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to mix all this up. And... Uh, you can use some chocolate syrup. You can do all kinds of different cool stuff and place this right here. And then we're going to get a nice big scoop of these berries right on top like that. All right. Boom. And then I whipped up some uh, mascarpone cheese and some sweet cream butter. Okay. So we're actually going to top that beautiful dish with a nice hearty scoop oh of that mascarpone and, and sweet cream right there. And the, and the kind oh. of flavor on that one is, is more... Well, it's a little uh, richer, right? And, uh -huh. and um, But I love mascarpone cheese and I love all that beauty, you know, uh, uh, ricotta and stuff like that. And then we got some 100% maple syrup there. Okay, that's what I'm oh, talking about. Right, just like that. And you know what, let's get a little crazy. Let's put some of this on top. There go. Just like that. You know, I, I inherited my dad's sweet tooth, so yeah. I know we would just drench this make in you, syrup. Yeah, make your loved one a beautiful strawberry rose right on top, just like that. And there you go. That's going to kickstart your health, your Valentine's Day. Hey, <laughs> there you go, man. Uh, yeah, and nobody can, say, nobody can uh, say that somebody doesn't love somebody after taking the time to prepare this. Uh, prep time, what do we look at? You know, ultimately like 15 minutes. You know, if you want to add some bacon or sausage to it, you know, go ahead, you know, uh, ham, nice ham steak. But that's all you need right there. And that's a plate for two right there. You can sit in bed, drink a cup of coffee, watch the morning show, boom, 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 share it with your loved one. Yeah. You know? For two or for one hungry like, hey. person, <laughs> just saying. Yeah. We, yeah, we had a rough day yesterday with the Super Bowl, so we did. <laughs> this is comfort food. This is comfort food. Real quick here, uh, Chef Bustos, a supply drive at Susie Breo's Smarman. Yes, uh, my, um, we're, we're holding a supply drive for uh, personal film, uh, hygiene products, uh, um, okay. uh, deodorant, clothing, stuff like that. Oh, for Susie Reyes Marmas, we're going to have it on the 18th at Rasa Hink down on 2nd. Baila Baila is going to be performing. Very we got lowriders cool. coming from my, my brother House. Thank you, House. Uh, my beautiful wife is co-hosting this with me. And, you know, we always try to get involved in the, in the community. So mm -hmm. we're really going to try to help replenish the much-needed supplies at this school. Right? There you go. So. Yeah, always doing amazing things in the community. Chef Bustos, he's going to be with us throughout the morning. Yes. Prepping and making some other great meals. You're not going to want to miss yeah. this. So, again, uh, this is a great way that you can kind of say I love you to somebody. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, like you said, get the more And, hey, shout right. out to all you Chiefs fans, my brother Joe, and all you guys. Hey, congratulations, even though, you know. <laughs> I'm going to drown my sorrows in some uh, berries. And, uh, all right, there we go. Toast over here. <laughs> but Chef Andrew, we will be back with you here coming yes, up sir. in the next hour. And in the meantime, for a full recap of this entire interview, we will have it for you later on this morning at alwaysonkrqb.com.